New action in the Foster's Cup. The highs, the lows, the anguish, the frustration, and the aggro, all a part of the 1990 Foster's Cup. But do we need to see yet another Brian Wilson acting performance? No, sorry, Willow. Let's stop. We'll fast forward the tape until we get to the best bump of the Foster's Cup, involving Essendon's Andrew Manning and the Lions' Ross Lyon. Richmond, as we know this year, have adopted a youth policy, and what's that old saying? You've got to learn to crawl before you can walk. But come on, Tyke, let's work it out. Just who is the opposition here? Oh, don't look so down, dear. They're young and they're learning. To some of the marks of the Foster's Cup, and firstly, Earl Spaulding rose high over the pack to take the screamer. But not to be outdone, North's Wayne Schwoss said thanks to teammate Ben Buckley for the ride. And you know it's a fair mark if you can make Kanga smile. The Boris Spassky Award goes to new Bulldog coach Terry Wheeler. But I wonder why he had to consult Eagle Peter Sumich. Oh, well, Terry, keep working on it. The two delicacies of the Foster's Cup were lion sandwiches, prepared by the Hungry Bombers, and everybody's favourite, Mag Pie, courtesy of the Blues. To the goal of the series, and North Steve Hamilton handballs to Peter German at half-back. It was at a critical stage in the third quarter, with North looking to open up a handy lead. German, like a tank, stormed through the centre of the ground, and after five bounces, shoots from the 50-metre line and kicks a truly great team-lifting goal for the Roos. But not so great was his accidental kicking to the head of gutsy eagle small man, Don Pike. And so the 1990 season is underway. It's all back with us again. The wild, the crazy and the bizarre. Have a great year in footage.